Good day and welcome to Star 6 Minis. I'm Tian Lotter and today we're going to be unboxing one of the miniatures that I have been waiting for and I have been excited about the most. Um, it will be my first artistic piece that I have ever attempted. Um, it is Lock and Load by Robot Rocket Miniatures. The box that came in is really professional. I really liked the little touch of a card saying thank you for your support. Um, there's a normal little decal sticker that you can stick on your wet palette box or whatever. And then we get to, to the brilliant cast that we get inside. I looked forward to this piece for so long. So inside, um, everything is very neatly packed. A little bit of foam sponge at the bottom. And here you can just take a look at the incredible detail. Um, that was sculpted and cast perfectly. I looked all over the main bust or the torso and the head and I couldn't find any mold lines to speak of. There is a little nub at the bottom where you can see where the resin was cast into but as far as I could tell for the rest of the model um, it was mainly free of any casting or any mold lines whatsoever. And I was just struck in awe, firstly, by the, by the absolute quality and detail. Uh, and secondly, well, it's my first artistic bust, so it was a little bit larger than I expected. As normal, a little moisture preventing packet. And then all the additional little bits and bobs that we have to add on, that we have to glue, glue on. A little radio that hangs from her backpack in the back. It had a couple of mold lines, but again, nothing that you can't clean up uh, with a little exacto knife or a little hobby knife uh, and some very fine sandpaper. It's also not one of the main details, so it's something that I don't, wouldn't be, wouldn't have been too disappointed with having some mold lines on. A few little supporting sprues that you have to cut off, but nothing that's attached to details that are too fine in the past, I have cut off uh, small little supporting sprues um, and damaged the the fine details that it was supporting, um, but these don't seem to be a problem. There's a small little mold line, small little chip, um, but it could just be a little guiding mold line at the top of the left arm, but again, the casting is so good. The mold line's placed in such a way that once you glue the piece together, um, it will not uh, not be visible, it won't show, so you won't have to spend too much time cleaning that up. The back bit of the of the gun, initially I was a little bit perplexed about what this is, um, and that'll become a little bit clearer in a minute. You can see the front um, is a little bit misaligned, but again, nothing that you can't uh, fix by just cutting it off and shaving it. Um, it's part of, the, part of the process, part of the hobby. Um, and I must say, I am more and more impressed with the casting by Broken Toad and the whole production of Robot Rocket um, with this. Um, the big, one of the, one of the elements that you get in the golden angle is this arm where everybody loves to paint in a freehand tattoo. Casting quality again is so good. All the details are crisp and clear. One little mold line, one little place at the bottom where the resin was injected but again nothing that is directly in line of sight nothing that will show once everything is put together just a quick dry fit to see where everything needs to get shaved off and it's at this point where I started getting a little nervous because I thought was this is this a case of me not being sent all of the items and I was getting quite nervous maybe it, it was placed maybe there was a layer underneath um, I was a little bit disappointed at this point um, because I thought the the kit was incomplete so I immediately got onto Robot Rocket's website I started typing an email and then something struck me. I said, maybe I should just look 
thoroughly in this upper box and there it was <laughs> the main gun uh, was stuck it was wedged a little bit so thank you um, it does seem like it was bent a little bit but nothing I can't fix with a little bit of hot water or uh, or an air gun uh, air gun which most people just use a hairdryer for so again the casting quality very very few things that I'm going to have to shave off just a little supporting strut but I couldn't pick up any details um, where I will have to clean up little resin folds uh, or resin bleeds so I'm really looking forward to painting this piece uh, it is going to be my first artistic piece um, that I ever paint so yeah uh, look out for more videos in the future about that and again I am just thoroughly impressed by the level of detail in the sculpt the absolute precision in the casting and uh, I would highly recommend um, getting yourself one of these um, if it interests you um, or if they're in stock because these things go very quickly once they add a few more copies to their inventory.